to look in the camera right now. Hey guys, I know it's been forever since I've been on this channel. I might have clicked bait you. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not back. I still don't vape, but I'm going through my old vape room and organizing and selling all of my old vape stuff. So email me at Tia reviews at live.com if you're interested in purchasing anything I have left for super, super cheap. But I came across this and I know what this is. I don't even know when I started like putting stuff in here. Basically, it's a little vape time capsule thing I thought I was going to create and then open in 10 years, not even realizing that I wasn't gonna vape for 10 years. How long did I vape? Six, seven years? I don't know how long I, I did vape, but I used vaping to quit smoking and I helped a lot of people along the way as well. I used to smoke like a pack a day, maybe like almost a pack, but maybe I had like three cigarettes left for the next day, but I still have to go buy a new pack every day pretty much. And it'd be like, I'd get so, <laughs> desperate sometimes I do live far out of town and driving into town and when I didn't even have a car because I, I didn't have my very first car I couldn't afford until I was like 20 21 I was not one of the lucky kids that got a car when they were 16 from their parents so I would like be so desperate for a cigarette I would take like my cigarette butts my roommate's cigarette butts and like squeeze out the tobacco out of the little tiny butt that was left and then re-roll a cigarette with rolling papers and like make a little um little filter out of the cardboard of the rolling paper cardboard pack thing I'd like rip it and then smoke it like a second generation sugar cigarette cigarette when I was that desperate for nicotine anyways and then I found vaping and I didn't even think I was going to quit for sure with vaping it took me about a year of maybe sorry my cousin started calling me I don't know where I was it took me about 10 or 11 ish months around there to fully quit smoking and vaping at the same time it did help me cut back but um I love how this was I was supposed to come on here and just like open this little time capsule for you guys and then it started into like my vaping journey but I'm sure there's people watching that at I wish I could have just showed you guys what my dog was just doing. She must have been dreaming about eating something in her sleep because she's like, and she's sleeping. Anyways, I wanted to give a quick rundown of my vape journey because I am no longer using vaping products. I don't need them anyways. I use vaping to quit smoking and I started it. I did 12 for a hot minute and then went down to six, three, vaped zero for a really long time. Kind of did like three, one and a half, zero for a while. And then it was just zero for a long time. And then I got pregnant with my first son and quit smoke or quit smoking, <laughs> quit vaping while I was pregnant. Kind of went back into it when he was born. He did go through four open heart surgeries. That was pretty stressful. Even went back to a little bit of nicotine after that. And like some of like the high nick, like little sigil like thingies. What are disposables? I don't even know what they're called anymore. Um, but still just was not needing it as much as I used to. And so I just decided it got less and less. And then I was only vaping socially. And then I was only vaping socially if... I was drinking also socially and this eventually didn't need it anymore and decided that I wasn't going to be inhaling anything because why I don't need it. Anyways, I found this freaking time capsule. Look at this just like this was Halo's purity line. Um, this it's, it was six milligrams. So that's how long ago I got this tin. And when I, I thought this tin was so cool when I got it anyway, I don't even know if Halo is still in business. I still have Halo, li well, not Halo Lick brand, but one of the brands that Halo made, um, e-liquid and vape stuff. So I haven't even opened this in years, you guys. I don't even know what's in here. I don't even know if it's going to be cool. Um, okay. So like, I'll just, I don't even know what this is. Actually, I think this is like a thread. Is this like a thread hider? Like when you would have a, like a, I don't know, like those skinny spinner batteries and then it goes like, you know, kind of tapers up and then the tank and then maybe this was like to, it was like a beauty ring. I think that's what it was. I don't have anywhere to put all this crap as I take it out. Um, this is an adapter some sort of maybe 510 or 808 adapter. That is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, another beauty ring. That's what I'm assuming that that is. 
Why? Okay, is this more like a time capsule or like I just put a lot of random crap in here? Um, a little needle nose fill bottle. Still has e-liquid on it. Oh, it stinks. Whatever the frick it was. Some other sort of beauty ring. I think this one was, or maybe this isn't a beauty ring. Maybe this was for the um, click battery that had the lanyard. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. So uh, Playboy made their own Sigalikes and this was the Playboy Bunny brand charger. There's another charger in here. Oh my God. Green smoke. That was like the first huge giveaway I did with uh, indoor smokers. We, we gave away a shit ton of these green smoke starter kits. Wow. A coil. This is an Aspire coil 1.6 ohm good between 3.5 and 5 volts i don't know which tank this went in probably a nautilus yeah i probably I, i'm not sure oh my god this this is a v2 pumpkin spice flavor so this is the v2 for the cartridges um v2 sigs i don't even know if they're still around pumpkin spice that's funny it really freaking stinks though but this, I thought this was so awesome when they came out with the pumpkin spice ones. What's next? Oh no, I feel like I should remember what this is for, but I don't. But it came, it's probably for some sort of tank or RDA that you could change out the colors of the bottom or something. I don't know, but they're, I never got you. Yeah, this has to be. Oh my goodness, was it? Maybe it was for one of my like RDAs. And you could change out the, no, it wouldn't be a RDA because you wouldn't be able to do the bottom like that. But this is obviously the top. It's like tapered to where a freaking drip tip would go. I don't know. If you know what this belongs to, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, some sort of rubber mouthpiece covers for probably for flavor testing to not like transfer germs. Another coil. This looks like a canker tech. Maybe not. No, this is a MIG. MIG UFO 1.8 ohm, but also I think Kanker Tech, I think MIG has kind of like made their stuff off of, like based off of the build of Kanker Tech. Um, a, this, this thing is for this. So maybe, maybe, yeah, no, this way, no, this way, yeah, to cover the mouthpiece. Um, some random piece oh no okay these aren't i thought these were o-rings they have little they're for keychains so these are for like the vape keychains like tank bands i think that's what they're called to replace these are extra beads to one of my bedazzled vapes that i have and i had and i used it and i loved it, it was from like what's that place crystal couture um and i still have that vape too that either there's like a handful of vapes that i'm keeping for now because I'm not ready to let go of them completely. I'm not ready. Like they hold a place in my heart that I, I don't want to sell them or get rid of them. Like the Kanger Tech uh, Cup D and the Anybox and the MVP by Inakin. Like the ones that I really, really used hardcore, I'm still keeping and uh, probably forever. I don't even know. The Safe Sig. Oh my gosh. It's another one of those Sig like batteries, battery charger. That was an old one. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is Cape Fear Juice Company, you guys. This was like one of the first companies that like sponsored me. And then I found I found most all of the companies that I found and loved in the beginning, I found organically and fell in love with their products. Oh, Chikora, I still remember. I don't know if they're in business, but they were bomb and very nice and i liked how they did wax seals on their bottles some o-rings and it's like little coils you see the coils that are wrapped around the freaking cotton string y'all remember when you used to vape cotton string <laughs> there's like a lot of little things in here um a very crazy huge drip tip that would probably make airflow super tight a coil that it has the Kanker Tech logo on it. Don't know what it goes to, but it's unopened. We have, oh my God, some wire from like my first rebuildable kit, which I am not, 
Never did. Oh, what's this from? Much Love and Vape On. I don't know what this was from, but I kept it, which meant, which means it meant something to me at the time, but I don't remember. I should have wrote like on the back what it was from. We have another coil, a brand new one. It's 0.8 ohm, but that's all that's on here for information wise. I don't know. It kind of looks like Aspire, like aspire -y. but the coil down in there, I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a freaking, <laughs> that's a string. We used to use, wicks used to be strings. Oh, this is a beauty ring. So this is the beauty ring that I was talking about. I don't know, maybe those other ones were like ugly beauty rings. Do you see how it's tapered? So this would, th this part would go on the battery and this would be like in line with like a 25 millimeter diameter tank or something. So that's a beauty ring. Oh, another one, Mig Sig. Ooh, so this is Mig Sig Sahara Classic, which is just regular cigarette flavor, Sig alike. I am so funny. I keep the weirdest stuff. <gasps> oh, there's other things in here. Oh my gosh, one of these coils. I think these came off of those um, swivel tip tanks that I did big giveaways for. Or was it called the X tank? I don't know, but it's so funny. Oh, here's another one. I cannot believe the wicks we used to use, you guys. Another, there's just, I think they're just all like <laughs> coils in here at this point. This, but, oh, but this isn't the same as the other one that I just showed. Those airflow holes in there. Mm -mm. I have no, oh, it's two pieces. Oh my God. Okay. Another beauty ring and a drip tip that has freaking crusties on it. And look how teeny tiny that flow, airflow hole is. A carabiner? Like a teeny tiny carabiner? Why? Why, Tia? Why did you keep that? Beauty ring? Wow, okay. Beauty ring. Beauty ring. Beauty ring. Beauty ring. I'm getting annoyed with myself. Why did I put so many beauty rings in here? Different type of beauty ring. Beauty ring. Oh, I'm throwing these away. Beauty ring. Different type of beauty ring. Uh-uh. I'm mad at myself. Beauty ring. Is this a joke? Was Am I trying to play like a joke on myself in the future? Like past Tia making a joke? Um, ew. <laughs> ew. I don't even know. There's like a bunch of those coils in here too. Ew. I am throwing out the stuff that's not sentimental. Ooh, Aspire, point, 1.6 ohm, good between 3.3 and 5 volts. Remember when it was all volts and like not sub ohm? Another pumpkin spice cartridge, a glass body tank, uh, yuck. I don't know what this is. And you know what? I never knew what this was. I don't know why I put this in there. I never figured out what this was. And now there's like stuff under my fingernail from digging around in here. Oh my God, another effing beauty ring. Okay, this, this is the bottom to like a Nautilus Mini and it has like a coil in it and I used the crap out of the models. So <clears throat> here's the rest of it. I must have, this was probably the first one I broke because I did break a couple. Nope, it's not the Nautilus Mini. That would be the full size Nautilus, wouldn't it? But I broke a couple um, and I must have kept it because it was like in its day, it was the best tank to have. Another type of coil. Look at those wicks. <laughs> those are pathetic little pieces of barely sticking out cotton. Oh my gosh. I think that was a Kanger Tech thing. Uh, so it's like a beauty ring, but it's also a keychain. But the keychain that was on it broke off. So this was something that was made, especially for me. It's Hello Kitty. I do have, I still have several of the things that were made for me from you guys, which is awesome. This is the base to some sort of tank. I'm not sure which one. It does have knurling at the bottom, which gives me Aspire vibes, but also maybe Kanger Tech. Well, this is just a mouthpiece cover, but there's a, another one of those pathetic wick 
Like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna dump the rest out in my hand because I think it's all just crazy coil. Um, is this an adapter? Uh, I'm not sure what that was. Stupid coil with the wigs. I shouldn't say stupid. This is the L Rider and um, it's 2.4 ohm. 2.4 ohm. But I shouldn't say stupid. I should just say like, you know, trial and error. Like this was probably a good coil in its time. What is my hair doing? Oh, I need to brush it. Um, Another one of these type of adapters in there. I don't know what this is. So... Part of this is time capsule. Another part is just um, holding on to weird pieces of vape kits. This is an adapter, I believe, and I got two of those in there. <laughs> and a coil. This is 1.4 ohm, good between 3.5 volts and 6 volts. There's no company name. I do, oh no, it's got the Kang Kanger Tech logo on it. I was going to say, I do kind of recognize the coil. And then there's a teeny tiny little O-ring in there and a Kanger Tech um, key. I'm not sure I can really remember what this is for. Maybe it was for changing airflow or like opening battery compartments, but I can't really remember. It's been a long time. And the very last thing is kind of sore subject. Like it will always be a sore subject for me because I'm just that kind of person. But there's a little coupon, like a little raffle ticket. And I was like... Oh, cute. What's this from? And I did remember to write on the back of this one. Zample Box Vape Cruise 2015 Meet. Meet. Oh, I got to meet Matt from Suck My Mod and Richard from Vaping with Twisted 420. This was my first live event and self-proclaimed number one fan. Her name was Sam. <laughs> and I wrote that all in the back. But, uh. Me and Sample Box had a big old falling out years ago, so I'm still gonna keep it though. I'm still, I'm actually too lazy to like throw anything away. So right now, also, it's just I have no idea why. I should. There was like ten beauty rings. You think I could just like toss some of those out? But I'm, I'm not right now because I'm not there yet. Made it to treasure box. I actually think I have another one of these type of things that I made a little bit later. But I would need to find it because um, it came in like one of my vapes came in like a cool box. And I think I started another one since that one was um, all the way full. If I find it, maybe I'll go through it. I don't know. It's been forever since I've been on here. And I've almost been talking for 20 minutes. I don't know how far I'll get this edited down. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys that just in case something like cool or nostalgic was in there. But it was mostly just little pieces of random stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say since I don't really um do anything on this channel anymore. Uh, go check out my life channel if you want to see what I've been doing. Um, I'm going to be continuing doing new weekly content over there. It's at home with Tia. I'll leave a link below. So it's youtube.com slash at home with Tia. And you can follow me on Instagram uh, at home with Tia. You can follow me on Twitter at home with Tia. And again, if you're interested in any of my old vape stuff or super cheap, I've got a crap ton of elig I need to get to. Please email me at Tia, T-I-A, reviews at live.com. That's my only email. Any other emails, a fake scammer. Dealt with a lot of those over the last 10 years too for the vape community. But IDs are required for age verification. And that's uh, uh, it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. <gasps> Wait. I was just about to do my old outro, but like, <laughs> if you subscribe, I don't know what's coming next. So go subscribe to my other channel. All right, guys. Thank you so much for all of the years and vape on.